All right, this quick video is mainly for my um, bro from uh, Australia, Nick. He's had issues with his install, um, and I just kind of wanted to explain what was going on. A little bit of a reference point for you is that these adjusters have, uh, if you look at the teeth in them, there's the wide teeth and then the narrow teeth. As far as the narrow teeth is concerned in relation to the wide teeth, the narrow teeth, when it's actually activated, uh, it's spring activated, it should be left justified in relation to the wider teeth, okay? So what that looks like inside is uh, this. You can see the linear springs, it's uh, the Ws. So that spring gets compressed, and uh, when that spring is compressed, as you're installing these, um, it's compressed with this locking mechanism here. So when you compress it, um, you have to use these. When you compress it, it will actually line up the gears. So this is starting to compress the spring. When I spin the thinner gear, tooth gear to the left, that is spring at its most dilated spot. So that's very relaxed. As soon as I turn the small narrow gear to the right, that spring is starting to get activated, okay? So what you really wanna do is um, put your last gear in one of these holes. Usually the hole that you use for the preface lift will be this guy, and this is actually threaded. You'll use an M5, but uh, you can use this sometimes if you use a little bit of strength. Of course, I'm not going to get it right now because I'm weak as hell. But anyway, this bolt will push the locking gear down. And the idea is that you align the locking gear in between this way. Okay. This is wrong. And the problem with this spot where it is right now is that if you look, to those that don't know, about working on the M156, you would be wrong to assume that this is the way that you would put it back in and assemble it. This is the correct spot, okay? Of course, it's not gonna look like this. It's gonna be tightened down by this mechanism here. But as I uh, push it to the right, the narrow gear to the right, it activates the spring. And as I use the locking mechanism, that spring Tension gets compressed more and more, and it's going to line up. So I commented earlier about how the narrow gear, the tooth, the narrow tooth is a little bit more to the left in comparison to the wider teeth. And that is because when you remove this after you install the gear and line it up with the driving gear uh, on the top cylinder head, when you take off the locking mechanism, what happens is the springs start to push this gear ever so slightly to the left. Of course, I'm exaggerating at this point. But the springs push it out to the left. So what you should get is the gear where the wider teeth are more right in comparison to the narrow teeth up top that's more left. If it was installed the wrong way, you are not going to get it... Uh, Similar to this reference, it would be more straight and the gears would either be more right or pretty much right aligned to each other. The problem with this is that it's very loose here. There's no tension at all, like it'll move and that movement will translate to a lot of ticking noise. And worse yet, you lose all the accuracy, consistency, and you can actually eat the adjuster gear and the driving gear quite bad. And not only that, the inconsistency in the movement and the ticking will actually eat away at the lobes of your camshafts. So uh, definitely bring this up to your mechanic if you're having issues of ticking, because it will be very loud and it will not go away even if you do the priming sequence for your lifters thinking that it's the lifters uh, it's not so
you need to make sure that that's actually proper. Hope this helps most of you. I hope to make some more videos for 63 Motorsports to help people out and uh, make sure that your ownership of your M156 is a very, very pleasurable one. Rev happy. Um, there might be a new announcement, some new development coming up uh, starting Monday. I don't know when it's going to be released at this point. Another thing would be an update on the ca uh, catch cans. Catch cans are getting done. That's the next on the list at this time. But at uh, the point that we're at, uh, we're feeling fairly good with the M156 and how far we've gotten with it. This engine has proven to be quite good. Uh, this is now almost 15,000 K. Um, no ticks on the new camshafts. The lock plates have quite a bit of miles on them at this time already, probably closer to about 45,000 K. And you know what, we're going to just inspect them one more time and probably call it quits and then just move on and develop another platform. Thank you for the support, and as always, peace, take it easy, stay safe.